Welcome, hi B Besties. It's time to change our calendars. This is Jess Lopaderas. Hi B Besties, and this is your host Marco. Together, let us all hop on to a new chapter of our lives with great enthusiasm as we embark on a journey to redefine ourselves for the better. Taking on new challenges and unlocking hidden potentials. Because in this new year, a new me, a new us, will, will shine, shine the bright, the brightest. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to current events. This December, spirits are soaring as we gradually transition to a new normal that allows us to freely celebrate face to face with oh our God. family, oh relatives, friends, and loved ones. Similarly, this month observes boosts of inspiration as we oversee a pair of siblings' remarkable feats in the academic scene. Exactly. Makasanaw dito ni mga siblings, di ba, Jess? Yes. Twin siblings, Madeline Esther Cruz and Margaret Esther Cruz, both graduated summa cum laude from DS Mathematics Program. Wow! At the University of the Philippines, Deliman, in just three years. Amazing. Uh, wow, wow, wow. And just this November 30, inspired by her brother, Alec Benjamin's achievement, of topping the geologist licensure examination three years ago, Abigail Ramirez also topped this year's nurse licensure exam with a rating of 90%. With the new year's fast approaching, these amazing stories just inspire me to reinvent myself and unlock my hidden potential. Don't you agree, Marco? Definitely, definitely. They're, they're really inspiring, don't you think? And these feats, whether well, academic, personal, or even professional, they're worth celebrating with our family and friends. So, for a better future, let us do our best to improve ourselves. All the while, keeping in mind that progress looks different for everyone. Everyone grows at different paces, and there's no yes, there's no purpose yes. of comparing one another. Am I right? Yes, yes. True, true. Watch out, 2023, because we are back stronger than ever to create our very own stories of inspiration. It's time to give a rundown of our December kidnaps. Here are some highlights of the month. Yes, but first, we cross borders as we finish the first ever Rotaract Global Village Day headed by the Rotaract Club of National University from Singapore. Meeting other international Rotaractors and celebrating each other by learning different cultures, this merry season really made us beyond borders. Wink, wink. <laughs> That's ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, wrapping up the year, RACCF also had a Christmas party with Cebu Council's last December 8, 2022. Fun, isn't it? Super duper fun. We have also launched our 12 Days of Christmas banner project with the theme, Forging the Spirit of Christmas into Reality Through Selfless Service. We have successfully finished five of these projects, namely Senior Moments, Balikan Dog, Upgrade, Liwanag, and Agrikadita. Besides that, in the Holly Jolly spirit, we still have these projects ongoing. So you guys can continue to help out in these projects. Number one, Wish Upon a Box. Number two, Laruan para kay Bruno. Number three, Makulay na Pasko. Number four, Al Inspiration. Number five, Liham na Pagasa. Number six, Bukas Palad. And number seven, Santa Tell Me. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Do expect great things from our 12 Days of Christmas project. Alright, besties. Since it's December and we are once again being blasted with Christmas songs. I know, right? We we more strongly instill the holiday season with Christmas songs we have in mind. But in a man feel no feel a Christmas vibe, diba? Let's play a simple yet fun game called Santa's Last Word. Whoa, send us last words. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you guys are familiar with the last letter game, you probably can play this game as they're both, you know, pretty much the same. But, you know, yeah. with a very, very jolly spirit, all you have to do is to connect the final word of the Christmas song with a lyric from a brand new Christmas song, all right? And there will only be five seconds to think of another song. So you guys might find this amusing, I bet. And for the prizes, Let's see about that later on. <laughs> That's 
always our line will come to prizes. Let's see about that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start the game with me. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Jess? I'll try. I <laughs> don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang, we need more. We need more game players next time. So if you want to, <laughs> but um, time to test your mind, Jess. Let's sing. Send us last words. So. For the first Christmas song would be Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'll be under the mistletoe. I don't want to miss out on the holiday. Your song, your word is holiday. Three, two, one, okay, go. Wait, 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 holiday. Okay, okay, okay. Holiday. This season, may we never wow, forget with the love. <laughs> we have, the love we have for Jesus. Like Christmas is our heart. Like you see fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wait. Oh what's the last gosh. word? It's Jesus, Jesus. Okay, your turn, Michael. Go, go, go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> one, two, uh, uh, Je- Chris, Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was a different tone. Mary's Boy Child by Jose Marie Chan there. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, it's <Hey>, chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's chaotic, fun, and easy. And yeah, it is easy because we're always doing, you know, carolings or we're always listening to Christmas songs. So who could possibly not be familiar with so many Christmas songs playing around, the bar? I know, right? I think it's time for Beyond Borders to start our own caroling, <laughs> our own caroling segment. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, now, guys, let's get right to our eagerly awaited episode's main topic. Hosty, if there's one thing that you would like to change about this year, what is it? And why is it your love life? Hello, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm a little heartbroken. <laughs> but <clears throat> on the topic of what ifs. <laughs> This month's episode of Beyond Borders is one of our special episodes. Oh, will we finally have our recording studio? I wish. <laughs> oh, we really want a recording studio. <laughs> but no. Hosty, as much as I want to say yes, we can only manifest it for this year. But this episode is special because it's our year and their episode. Woo! All right. I honestly didn't feel the year pass by. I think everyone says this every year, but this one hits different. 2022 was such a ride for me. I think I felt very overwhelmed with going through the college application process and then graduating and then getting into the college that I actually want. But here we are. The malaban pare. How about you, Hosty? Wow, I know, right? 2022 was a thrill. You know, for me, it was such an exhausting year. It's like six months ago, right? I was a different person, you know what I'm saying? Uh, coming into the like six months of the year, I'm a different person, you know? Like, there was, there was so much character development on my end. I don't know if our listeners can feel the same, but a lot happened this 2022. A lot happened. Oh my God, I understand. I feel like me now would be heavily... Heavily disappointed with who I was. Why? But na, a lot happened. A lot of kababalaghan in life. I know. Pero right? na, the line time flies really speaks for itself. Now, in just a few days from now, really, 2023 will open its doors for us to run into. Are you excited? Lol, no. <laughs> what? Why? Lang bitaw. Of course I am. It's just. I think I'm still processing what happened. But you know what? For me, we've made it this far in life. And 2023 is yet another year or another chance for us to grow. But I think we have to realize that that approaching year will have its ups and downs. And the best we can do about this is to is to really prepare ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, true. Now, with that said, we have a very special interview session for this year's last episode. This is because we have some of the members of the Beyond Borders production team with us. Woo! Hi everyone! Finally, we can once again hear the voices behind the operations of this podcast. 
Yes. Hello, everyone. So, um, so can we ask everyone to introduce themselves by number one, stating their name, their number two, their production team position, and number three, a certain what if that you think will happen this 2023. Yeah, 2023. Okay, I'll go first. So, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Marco. I'm one of the Holy Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm one of the uh, writers for Beyond Borders and occasionally your host. Um, and my certain what if would be. Damn, I don't want to sound political. Uh, never mind. What if I never chose nursing char? <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the you next? I'll go next. I'll go next. So, hi everyone. My name is Sean. I am the assistant outreach manager. I write for segments. I sometimes host for segments, and now I am your host for this episode. So, a certain what if that I think will happen in 2023? What if? Oh my god. Okay, someone next, please. Wait. <laughs> Everyone's in the, in the mute. It's like. Ah! Silently <laughs> screaming. <laughs> manifest, manifest. Hi, hi, listeners. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Let me clear up my, ano, <clears throat> my throat voice. Okay, Marag, that is something I've blocked, and I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, my name is Doriel Jin Bimaano. I am the head administrator of the Beyond Borders podcast. So, my greatest what if. Sa 2023, oh my gosh, what if mag click ding doha? <laughs> so, more get the shot about the greatest what if. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, my name is Annika, and I'm also one third of the Holy Trinity, aka the interview writers. And, min san, I feel nako, I'm a host. Occasionally lang. And then a certain what if siguro sa 2023 nako is what if mo reply na siya at siya di ay akong soulmate. Is hi everybody. What's up, baby besties? It's me, Jay. I'm new blood here. I'm your I'm your segments writer slash sometimes segments host slash part of the graphics team also. So my greatest what if for 2023? What if I'm actually productive? In that's like one thing we want to manifest for 2023. It's like productivity. Because this face, this this shift was a whole. My if I was a pancake, I would be the cooked side at this point. So, I think it's like one one of my what if. What if we're being productive for 2023? Hello everyone. I'm Francis, and I'm one. I'm sometimes one of the hosts for VB. Um, my Biggest what if for 2023? Hmm. I guess it's what if I had eight hours of sleep next year? <laughs> Considering it will be a very busy semester for way posting. Oh, yeah, why? I think there's one more person with us today that is waiting to be introduced. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Our special guest for this episode. All right, everyone. Is no other than our own imaginative club president, Ate Rico. Hi, Ate. <laughs> Wait, so, so, from what you heard, um, can you in, please introduce yourself to our listeners? Hi, guys. I am Rieko. So, uh, I'm also the president of the Rotary Club of and thus uh, one of the producers for Beyond Borders along with Gisrael. So, uh, my greatest what if. What if in 2023 I could balance orgs and akads? That's that would be so um, good to, for my mental health. <laughs> All right. So now that everyone has introduced themselves, right off the bat, everyone, tell us what is a resolution or goal that you wish to follow through in 2023. I will start. I think for me. My resolution for 2023 is number one, I'm going to resolution. I'm going to follow through. I'm going to follow through. I'm so much 
unfulfilled resolutions every single year. I don't know. How about you, Sean? Do you do you write resolutions every year? No, I gave up. Just actually, I gave, <laughs> I gave up. up. <laughs> Hope for the best, na lang. Si Lord, na lang bahala. For me, it's like whenever you start a new year, it's like you're very hopeful. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's really, really, yeah. very optimistic. Yeah, I feel like I'm at that point now. I'm hopeful in the beginning of the year. I'm trying my best to keep that optimism and that hopefulness throughout the year. Maybe that's a struggle. We have to find the motivation to go through with our goals this year. That's why sakto jud imong kuan, sakto jud imong goal to find an uya para nako motivation throughout the year. Yes, yes. Exactly. So, yeah, so mao na dapat priority number 1 magka uya para madayo ng imong resolutions. Hmm. Ako number, actually okay, nangita ko uya. Yes. But <laughs> but, but, but you know, akong resolution or goal siguro before magka uya is kanang consistent dapat ang workout. Paya, you know, you look good. But not just for True. your future, or yeah, but also for yourself. You know True. what I mean? Yes, exactly. Grabe, ang mga BBs bito ka rin. Like, <laughs> nangitag ka ng uyaw. Sige, okay na, ako na lang po. Sige, mangitag na lang sa gug-uyaw. <laughs> na bandwagon. <laughs> no, Rico said, the word exercise is not found in dictionary. <laughs> so, I totally agree that, mm. you know, exercise is not in, oh, not in our dictionary i mean pero like sa ko bitaw no it's like ko ay kailangan ta mag exercise kay para maka attract tag mga shotties mga hotties di ba so <laughs> para maka attract tag butterflies lagi ah. <laughs> so oh, so yeah so mga ko ay mga listeners um dapat mag exercise at the next year so Kay dili lang health is wealth but love life is wealth. I want to know. Oh, we also have ano um Juliana. So so she sent me her resolution for 2023 is to be penny wise though, particularly to live within my means. Dili buhay hilas and less expensive coffee consuming every day. Oh. Please don't attack me, Juliana. <laughs> Please don't attack the team. We, we're working hard, okay? We deserve the matcha. It's so OP. I feel so OP because it was never in my goal to have a love life. Because <laughs> everybody here has one. <laughs> or at least is looking for one. Independent <laughs> woman. Say, it's my... It's the end. But you would call it. Healing stage, kana. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I really don't practice making resolutions. Like, wallahi, it was never a thing culturally, spiritually, mentally. So, one thing I. But I actually did my first resolution this year, and I was able to do it, which was join an org, and I found it here at RACCF. Wow, Aww. no shame, but like, no shame plug, but like, yeah, I was able to do one of my resolutions or at least for 2023. Oh my gosh. Okay. For 2023, my goal is to definitely be less of a gastadora because I cannot my wallet, my cu- my wallet, my Gcash. I hope I don't spend on photo cards and overpriced coffee. That's literally the only thing that's keeping me up. If anyone has, you know, a willing to trade Markley photo card, please hit me up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, makarelate gyud ni J. I mean, um So, daghan yung gisote, I mean, one of those, good kay, pareha, we wawi na kita o love life para sa drone. <laughs> But, okay, well, ikaw na lang sa ikaw sa kong New Year's resolution, and it's all about commitment. I mean, of course, not sa kahit sa love life, but maybe budget-wise, uh, time-wise, schedule-wise. I mean, I really want to stick to the schedule that I want. Like, daghan ka ayaw buhato nun, and... Better a good if I can commit to myself and to all those goals. Um, one thing said uh, about this year uh, within our family, it's we always do New Year's resolutions. We all we do all those New Year's traditions, and kena mo ambak yung koko kada New Year. So um, For this year, there were two main resolutions that I had, and one of those, I didn't fulfill. 
um, to disclose lang po to trabaho po ko bisag ni ambak ko so wala er ni work <laughs> ang second kay koan i wanted to get out of my comfort zone i wanted to try new things that's why i can now join bb so that i can i'm kind of introverted but i could be an extrovert when i would want to so i'm glad i joined bb and yeah na- nahon gyud akong speaking skills so thank you guys <laughs> Oh, yo! I can really see how each of our like we have our own what ifs. Like number one, magkauyab. Number two, <laughs> magexercise. <laughs> oh, I see Rad. Wait. What did Rad say? Oh yeah, see Rad. He actually sent me like his resolution. So see Rad, he's actually one of our production team members from last right. season. Yeah, he said na yung goal for 2023 is to be healthy. Kanang, it includes daw eating healthy, going to the gym, and avoid drinking daw. Not unless kauban niya mga taga RACCF USD. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so I can really see how each of us has our own, you know, what ifs. Like isa, apparently magkoyab. Mm. Number two, exercise. <laughs> Garden. <laughs> In retrospect, Given the success that the Beyond Borders podcast and the Rotary Club of Cebu Fuente University of San Carlos um, had so far this year, what's one thing you wish to improve about, about it in 2023? Uh, for me, it's really improving our work ethics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't get me wrong. Our club, our our org is really is really you know good in in um, fulfilling. It's you know um, what do you call this mission? And our attribute of um, service above self, but you know what? I think we can do better. We can extend more. I've seen how our projects were able to um, extend to a lot of other orgs. Like for example, katung ambalik handog nila Anika. Like, dude, we were able to reach out to Singapore. Singapore, can you imagine? Wow! So imagine what we can do more. Well, how much more we can do next time? What do you guys think? And I really hope that. You know, beyond our team, our Beyond Borders team can reach more. But can you imagine, ba, mga Singaporean tanga uh, na guest next year? <laughs> what do you think, Sam? Yeah, so I completely agree with what you said, Marco. And um, I'm really proud of what um, BB and RSECF has achieved so far. And I agree with them being able to reach more in 2023. Um, really, I can only see that there's so much more that. The org and BB has to offer once we are in face-to-face um, setting. Na. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes. How about the others? I agree with Marco. Uh, in terms, first, in terms of the club. Um, if officers, um, oper- operations-wise. I hope that we can regroup and yeah, it's bonding more with the officers so we can do more so, synergy between ourselves one by the sum of everyone is greater than each of us combined, uh, each of us individually so that would be better and then in terms of uh, the view for the members We've had our um, semester and survey, and majority mention of face-to-face activities. And as students, of course, I can understand that they would want more physical activities. So hopefully, uh, that's where our club could improve on next year. But um, hopefully, God willing, considering our schedules. And then for Beyond Borders, I actually am. Um, always amazed of how organized it is um one thing because i'm a person that's not really organized so i have a thing or two to learn from beyond borders and then also it's the same with marcos um more collaborations because one thing i learned also as being part in rotaract is that um you can't only even if you're excellent You can't always do it alone. There's a, um, your excellent work becomes more excellent when other people are involved. It's on a higher level of success. So, if 
we are worse already successful in our terms right now, it'll be more successful with more collaborations. So basically, for Rotaract, for RCCF, more fellowship is needed. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Okay, let's hear from our very own Pedro. So for me, uh, um, so, uh, so like one thing that I would like to improve is like creating a more interactive experience for our listeners. Um, like, I've been with Beyond Borders since season one, and then uh, we're like, yeah, we're doing interviews, and um, I think no, that we could try to incorporate um, some other features that would make our show or our podcast uh, more engaging and interactive. Um, like, we could ask our listeners what they think about a topic we discussed on an episode. Um, for example, so or have them send their questions for future episodes. So those are those are the things that um, I would like to see for Beyond Borders. Yeah, so yeah, I completely agree with what everyone said. I'm excited to see that for 2023 to more fellowship, more interaction, more collaborations, really a lot of room for improvement for the organization, for BB, and for everyone who's part of the organization. So, looking back, especially now that we're moving towards a face-to-face setup, what is one thing that you'll miss about the online setup? Personally, ningawon ko na makataon ko wala class. Charis! But, to be more um, serious about it, one thing that I will miss about the online setup is probably the flexibility that I have with it. I think that even though I would have the same schedule that I had the first semester in face-to-face, I wouldn't have the same flexibility with it being an online setup. I, I find that I have more time for personal things in the online setup that I don't think I could have face-to-face. But Mona, at the same time, I miss interaction, I miss people, I miss having a seatmate, I miss having a crush in a classroom, etc. It's a long show. <laughs> but yes, let's hear from the team at the J. Definitely agree with you, Sean. I will really miss the convenience and flexibility from online class. My body clock is so, it's so different from 2020. It's gonna be so different this 2023. I won't have to, I have to wake up two hours now to get ready and not five minutes and then click enter call. We, I think we'll all miss yeah. that, right? Yeah, we'll definitely miss that. And also, the one thing I'm moving for a face to face setup, I really wanna be in, I'm interested to see if BB. If we ever had an, like how other podcasts have face to face setups, what would be our dynamics if we ever did F to face to face? And besides that, I'm really excited actually because my social battery has been recharging for two years. So I think it's a different story for extroverts and a different story for introverts. So um, for me, for me as an extrovert, it's like this has I have been waiting for this, but at the same time, I really. really I will miss the convenience so much. I'm probably random rambling about how much I will miss waking up five minutes before class because of this, but I'm very thankful we're finally gonna see each other and learn more about the world and going beyond borders. Oh, product placement or more more yes, oh endorsement. God. Yes, we're really going on about borders. Yes. So well, let's hear from Ate Francis. Uh, Jay, that was so witty. <laughs> so yeah, beyond borders, it's really exciting, Sha. Coming now, now we will see each other face to face in person. Like we will see how our teamwork works in the personal setting. We can, I think, we can already conduct these interviews in person. As in, we can, yeah, we can meet our interviewees and. I guess, okay, back to the question, what do I miss the most about the online setting? Uh, Same as everyone, it's really convenient. And I guess 
um, for me as a student, I have two priorities in life. It's school and family. And in the after face-to-face person at in the face-to-face scenario, I would have to choose between uh, which of the two to spend time with. And it's mostly with school because um, I'm there almost around 12 hours, 13 hours a day. And then plus pa na ang pag-commute. But when you're here, it's like you can just hear your family on the other side of the door. And yeah, you can just spend time with them. You know that you won't get it back soon. <laughs> I'm getting all sentimental. Um, so yeah, that's what I miss the most. It's convenient. I really agree with everyone. Like, online class was really convenient on our end. Like, yeah, I think it's really it's a really huge change for everyone. And coming now, that I think next sem, most of us are going to go to a face to face setup. Wow, we, I think we got this, guys. <laughs> I think we've got this. Um, I think at some point we were able to try. Or if you're if you're a listener who's about to try face to face setup, as Taylor said. You're on your own, kid. You always have been. You can do it. You can face this. Ah! <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, let's move on with our pan- or with pandemic. Let's move on <laughs> with our interview with everyone. Um, you guys mentioned about, you know, how are we going to move to our tour face to face setup. But, with that said, what is one red flag about yourself? Or a regret that you wish to leave behind in 2022. You know, you might carry in your face-to-face and up. You know, you want to have presentable <laughs> flags <laughs> whenever you have face-to-face set up. So what's one red flag you want to leave behind? Partner, ikaw na una. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> oh my God. Kadaghan na. Char! <laughs> no, but... Um, I don't know if it's... A red flag. I guess a bad habit that I want to leave behind. Na hopefully, did na ko madala in the face to face setting. Um, being a procrastinator. Oh my God, I hope that face to face will be kind to me and it won't push me to be a procrastinator. Hence, why mangita na ligi ko kaya para di ko procrastinate. Beta, beta. Maugod ang solutions to everything. Oyab. Oyab. But yeah, guys, it's a switch. <laughs> just, just kidding, listeners. But you know, um, avoiding procrastination, forcing yourself. Well, I would force myself to really work hard, be on top of um, the things that I need to do, and having good time management. So yeah, that's something I wish to have. I want to hear from Ate Ray. Mm, Which one? Think the most one I'd like to leave behind I guess is um, kind of similar with Sam destination or um, me being easily distracted I think I've, I've said it before uh, I'm not much of the organized person so um, one thing that was really a struggle for me was the juggling of orgs and ahads and um I'm the person that gives my 100% siguro with whatever is there right now. So, if something pops up in my head while I'm studying, if it's related to the org, I just chat it immediately until I stay on my phone for, what, an hour or two, then I forget I was studying. So, the focus is everywhere. (laughs) So, I hope um, next year I'll be able to improve that leave that behind because um, things are gonna get tougher <laughs> for our course so I need to improve my ammo <laughs> so that's it how about you guys? you know what? I really resonated with you guys' answers because my answer for this would be I'm too impulsive <laughs> Because you know what? Hear me out. It's like, for example, um, peaceful weekend, you know what I'm saying? Planning to sleep. And then RACCF says, okay, my fellowship taon niya. Okay, G. <laughs> so, I guess that's one of my red flags. I'm too impulsive. I realized this in face to face that, you know, given the chance, we love to hang out with people. The pandemic has took, has took its toll on everyone, especially. Uh, 
me one of them i guess and how um i don't know about you guys how about you uh francis can do you think <laughs> or what's a red flag you want to share you want to put it out there para makuyab na ta you know we have to convert <laughs> Well, okay. Um, being impulsive, I can relate to that. But number one good red flag for me, um, watch out, lang guys, warning that. And I'm really an overthinker. I think things through, but I overthink. So sometimes it's good to know to want to know everything about the situation, or can I know all your possibilities? But don't ruin your chances about. Don't ruin your chances for your future by kind of making too uh, too much of a decision. Uh, I don't know if you get that, but like um, you could have stopped there, but um, yeah, it was too much. Uh, for one thing, it's like you you have to make a decision, and then um, time runs out, and then you missed your opportunity. So that's one of those examples, kid. Yeah. How about you guys? No, I actually relate to at the Francis. Like in contradiction to Marco, who is impulsive. Like I align myself I'm with at the Francis. No, Marag, you're a little bit hesitant. No, you're not a little bit. Like you're really hesitant about things. Like for me, siguro I like don't get me wrong. Like at the start of the pandemic, like introvert ko ka ayo. But then towards you know right now, like we're going back to the face to face setup. I've in, like I've slowly. Turned myself into an extrovert, and then we're like, like a part of that introvert self is still there, and I hesitate to like socialize with people, and I feel like I want to leave that behind in 2022, because like 2023 is like another door to open, like new people, more people, like kamo in RACCF and Beyond Borders, like really amazing people to meet, and I want to leave that behind. Like I wanna, I wanna dive in immediately. Like if I need someone, like okay. No more hesitating. No more thinking about the what ifs. Like, let's just go. Let's just let's just go for it. Inga na ba? Kamo. What do you guys think? Nagugig ba checks up on the list ng gipang ingon ni you guys? But one thing about it is that I'm hard on myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so super hard on myself. Ito like I will beat myself like over something that you no. Know, That will like negatively happen, like a failure of not being able to meet the standards that I have set on myself, like to projects, assignments, or tasks. Even though it like it's like not the end of the world and it won't affect me in a big way, so I want to leave behind those stuff. You know, being hard on myself because it doesn't help me at all. Like I realize, konga, oh my gosh, at the end of the day, you have yourself, you have yourself, so that you, so you should love yourself, not. Get so hard on yourself, so all good to guys. Please pray for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love everyone's answers to that question. I'm happy that everyone here um, is really um, moving towards self improvement and self development. I'm glad that we realized the things that we want to leave behind and the things that we want to put forward, especially entering 2023. With all the new things and all the extraordinary things that it has to offer, yes, I'm exactly. proud of everyone, and I hope our listeners will also take the time to reflect. Be it on 2023, na pamoy chance, makareflect, and realize the things that you want to leave behind and the things that you want to bring with you. Exactly. Can I just yeah. add on that, like, yeah, yeah. um, it's, I think it's important for us to acknowledge these red flags, not because you know they're exactly. flagrant like that, but if we acknowledge them, you know what I'm saying. If you acknowledge them, then we get to see them at a brighter, you know, we can see them in out in the open, Jod. And when we see them out in the open, we can adjust them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I yeah, you know, we can you. leave them hiding in the dark. So yeah, I guess it's um the lesson for listeners here is like you know face our demons. You know what I'm saying? We have to yeah. face them. We we can't hide from them because they're part of us, really. And if we want to improve this next year, yeah, we have to acknowledge them first. Hard it is, you know. Yes, self reflection, self acknowledgement. Now, with that, we're down to our last question, everyone. So, this question is really for the people who have been thinking way too much about love, love life, and whatever. 
So the question is for everyone and for our listeners to ponder on. Self-love or selfless love in 2023 and why? Personally, even though I'm not uyab, self-love. I choose self-love for 2023. And I think I'll continue to choose it for all the years of my life. I only have myself. Just like what everyone said, I only have myself. At the end of the day, there is everyone around me. And if I don't love myself, oh my God, I'm going to have a hard time. I'm going to be struggling with my health mentally, emotionally, physically. So yes, I urge everyone, choose self-love. Understand your weaknesses, embrace them, know your strengths and hone them, and bring them with you as you go about your day. How about the rest of the team? Sige daw, partner, ikaw daw. Self-love! Why would you? <laughs> right? Okay, again, I told, I, as, as Taylor said, no, <laughs> I'm quoting her way too much. <laughs> well, that's uh, on another note. That song really resonated with me for this year. What do you think? Like when um, You're On Your Own Kid by Taylor Swift. If you haven't listened to it, dude, you have to. It's like a theme song now. But hear me out. Um, um, it really resonated with me when when Taylor said, um, You're on your own, kid. You, you always have been. It's like a realization for you that um, no one's there for you. You're, you're like, that's like a hard reality. You have your friends. Don't get me wrong. You have your friends. You have your family. But at the end of the day, you're really you're pretty much on your own. You have you're gonna make your own decisions at some point. You're gonna make choices that'll either you know harm others, harm you. And it's important to guard yourself. It's important to guard your emotions and protect yourself. That's why I would have to say self love over selfless love, because how can you love others if you don't even love yourself? You know that's a that's a really old saying, but it really resonates with a lot of um aspects. Like, how can you expect to give yourself if you you yourself is so empty, right? So, I think next year, we have to also keep, continue to remember to put yourself beyond others, right? Um, if you foster yourself, if you foster your garden, um, you attract the right people, you know? You, you attract the right opportunities, you attract the right things for you, you know? Yeah, it's therapy for everyone. And I think um, another song that I'd like to end would be um, Ben and Ben's Araw Araw. You know? <laughs> pipiliin kita Araw Araw. I say, pipiliin mo sariling mong Araw Araw. Diba? Choose yourself every day. What do you think? Um, Annika? Uh, self-love food ko. Because I feel like like this 2022, I gave too much of myself to others. Na I forgot to like, you know, Put myself first, if you know what I mean. And I don't want that anymore. Like like what Koyador said, what you said, what Sam said. Na at the end of the day, ikaw lang jun, you're on your own, kid. And then what's the point of like giving too much to everyone when they can't reciprocate that to you? You feel? So like the million dollar question, that's what Ate Ryako said. The answer is self-love, Jun. But I don't know, but since it's different for Ate Ryako, maybe she's selfless love. What do you think? Service above self, right? <laughs> to bring the news, char. Actually, I, 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 I thought there would be self as love, but realizations, I do self love. It's similar to what Marco said. You can't give if you don't have it. So, I'm, I guess I've tried to give selfless love. But without self-love, it's kind of self-destructive and it won't become genuine because you're you're gonna think you're gonna want them to acknowledge your selfless love because you don't have the love yet so you're looking for it outwards so you're gonna keep looking for it so it won't it's it's not actually going to be a selfless love, but a selfish love. Not not really, pero um in a way because if you're not at peace with yourself, you're just gonna keep looking for it from other people. And people have their own life. <laughs> yeah, as what Marka said, you're on your own kid. They have their own life, so you need to fill fill it up first with self love. 
and once once you once you have that click with your own self which i hope i do or we all do in the future i think it will come naturally when we're all grateful when even if things are difficult if things are difficult um you find the silver lining or you be, you become grateful for all the little things i think that's the time that you uh even unconsciously it's going to become a selfless love because you're contented and that's you can go out and help other people and she i love when she said that if you're you know it, if it becomes self-destructive wow <laughs> yeah it really it really goes back to how much you can give of yourself so if you don't invest in yourself what are you gonna give diva right? Once a thief once a thief once said, "Like um, I cannot give what I don't have, diba." Right? Um, how about you, uh, Francis, Jay, Doril? Yeah. So actually, I wanted to say something different. Not I'm not. I want to be best of both worlds, but I feel like for 2023, I want to lean more onto selfless love because I really built myself on achieving what I really wanted for myself, how I wanted to grow. It's very. It sounds like a very type A personality thing. But it's something I'm very proud of. It's something I'm. I think when you're proud of yourself and you achieve the sense of self love that you've developed, it's like you feel ready. And I feel like this is my time to like start giving back to other people. What? <laughs> yes, this is like the plus the selfless love because it doesn't always have to be like you know giving yourself to a uh, selfless love means using yourself as a vessel to deliver love to other people. So like once I feel like I've reached that capsule, so. For me, it's selfless love for 2023, but also self love. But like, you know, selfless because like when you're happy giving yourself, it means you should be happy receiving either ends positive or negative. So I want to enter 2023 with a grateful mindset. You know, amen. Answers are pretty much valid. There's no like wrong. Or, there's no correct or wrong answers. There's a question: self love or selfless love. But you know, I realized that. As we are advancing, it's important to remember, no, um, that we are stronger together than we are alone. Ojin na, like I have like another perspective for, you know, um, selfless love. So now we have like seen during the height of the pandemic that we've seen a lot of people that uh, who helped and showed sympathy, empathy, and I think because of that, um, it has impacted us and most probably become, you know, it's a practice. And like na implant niya sa atua, ah. and I think that now for example for next year 2023, I believe that selfless love uh, will be crucial in keeping us moving forward as a society. And I thank you. <laughs> oh my God, maon ikaw na. We love you. Yes. Thank you, contestant number two. Um, I think the judges will have a really hard time. Um. For me this year, I guess I'll go for selfless love instead. Uh, don't get me wrong; uh, <laughs> it's not that I want to be a martyr or anything like that. It's that um, I think I've had my fill for self love already, and um, with every with all the love that uh, my family has been giving me and the people around me, I think it's time to give back. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So. <laughs> Oh, Rico said, "I'm on a selfless love, no self love, na last year." <laughs> Kibali, mag switch naman taka ron. <laughs> Next year, mag switch naman siya. Tatay twenty four switch naman. Ako mag selfless love na mga twenty twenty four. Nakas ka jule do. Oh, I'm so proud na kanya. It's a whole process. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, like what everyone said before, you're able to. Um, give love. You have to have it for yourself. So, katung mga nag self love, napata sa stage na we're learning to love ourselves pa. Katung mga nag self plus love, na humanda. We're going to give that love to other people. Manak yeah, so it's pretty much like balancing throughout the you know society. Like there are people, there are people who can give themselves, and there are people who you know. Um, Put yourself first, and that's fine. It's totally fine. If you need to put yeah. yourself first, put yourself first. There's, there's no rush, right? It's yeah. a matter of moderation, diba right? Yeah, we're all progressing and developing at different paces. Definitely. Yes. 
don't feel pressured by other people. Yeah, and I think that's all the questions we have for the team. So I'd like to take this time to say thank you so much for taking the time to be with us, everyone, this Christmas break. And thank you so much for making this uh, this podcast episodes, you know, this podcast in general possible. I know, and I can attest to this um, personally, <laughs> um, consistently being able to push push out a new episode, you know. <laughs> it's like our baby, really. <laughs> we push, we, we, we have to push hard for a new episode every month. <laughs> and on a monthly basis, and it's quite the challenge, especially, especially during the months where, you know, our schedules as students are already quite, quite jam-packed. Especially this December, oh my gosh. Finals and everything. We have it's our pretty much our last push. Um, we really appreciate your hard work, everyone, and we hope that next year you guys can have more success. Um, we will be more successful rather than ever. Till then, we hope that the new year will truly bring forth a new and better version of ourselves. So number one, our goals: magkoyab. Number two, mag exercise. Number three, self. Depende. It's either your self love. Or selfless love. So depending kung unsa yung schedule. If you schedule next year selfless love, go. If you ne- schedule next year self love, go man. No one's judging. Basta, ano, um, do what's right. You know, do what's right for you. That's I think that's our takeaway here. So before we end, um, on behalf of the Beyond Borders team, we would like to greet everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and see you in the next episode in the next year. Bye everyone. As you're finally on the home stretch of this year, mangutan na ko ninyo. Natinood na ba ang mga manifestations nato or manifestation ng gihapon? Manifestation ng gihapon. <laughs> oh no. Same. Ito ang bibibestis, di ba? How are the resolutions that we made for ourselves at the beginning of 2022? Well, I want to believe. I want to sh- I don't know. I think that everyone has tried their best to fulfill those resolutions. So, you think I think no, I'm kidding. I agree with you. <laughs> but did you know that there are actually benefits to committing to our own personal growth in the new year? Really? Can you spill the tea? <laughs> spill the tea. Even I didn't know this. Okay, okay. So our writers found out that apparently if one commits to personal growth for the new year, it can first make you happier, raise your confidence level, Increase your self-esteem level, help you become more courageous, make you trust yourself more, have better relationships, be healthier, and lastly, achieve greater levels of success. Oh my gosh! Alright, that's it. See you guys at Anytime Fitness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I never I thought. I know, of, right? Yeah, I think. Like, it's just a lot of resolutions to make and I guess we have to really fulfill them because who knew there were a lot of benefits? Who knew? Even just <laughs> committing to not actually achieving it but just being in the process, I think, yeah, it does help. Yeah, I never thought of it that way and I guess it does make a lot of sense, you know? Mm, true, true. I hope that this will inspire our listeners to prioritize personal development when making resolutions for the new year. Exactly. All right. Happy holidays this December. And the last of our fur babies, we want to give you all a happy birthday shout out to the following people Cheska Falcon, Alexa Flora, Chirmpino, Dream Lim, Shane Otadoy, Mark Rivera, Francis Falcon, Shania Moya, Daisy Delgado, Cheryl Feniza, Leah Wong, Arabella Sumbilo, and shout out to some of our Beyond Borders team, Ter Alia, Alexia Abianza, and our RACCFD officers, our documentations officer, Phoebe, and our imaginative president, Draco. Woo! Happy birthday, everyone! Happy birthday! And a Merry Christmas. Whoa, they're sharing the same birth month with Jesus. Yeah, I was, uh... Hey, 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 Marco. What's that paper you're holding? A New Year's resolution list? Or perhaps a bucket list? You know what? It can pass as a bucket list, but it's not a personal bucket list. It's what RACCF has in store for the very first month of next year's agenda. Ooh, color me intrigued. 
fill the deets, please. You know what? I can't tell you the full details yet, but... Oh, <laughs> no, but hear me out. Here's what you should look forward to, everyone. This January, RACCF will launch the Media Information Literacy Campaign with Rappler's hashtag, Facts First PH. Whoa! We're, gonna, we're getting there, guys. Rappler! Yes! We're getting the the help, well, help and the recognition <laughs> from other sources. Amazing! Next, January, we'll also highlight the Island Spatian Drive where we will donate hygiene and educational kits to senior high school students, President Carlos P. Garcia, Technical Vocation School of Fisheries and Arts in preparation for their face-to-face or for their return of face-to-face classes. Good luck, guys! <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> our book donation drive, Bukas Palad, will officially be handing out the donated books for junior high school and senior high school students of the same school. We hope that these projects from 12 Days of Christmas will help everyone and our mission to continue our mission to fulfill our attribute of service of self. There you go. Nice one, Marco. Love that line. The year is not over yet, but I am super thrilled for 2023 upcoming events. January seems very promising for our ACCF USC. As we should, we'll keep you posted, BB Besties. We are sad to finally end the last episode for the year 2022. But we know exciting things are ahead for the Beyond Borders team and the RACCF community in 2023. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we love making it. And with that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much everyone for listening for this month's episode. And stay tuned for when we start the new year with a brand new episode of Beyond Borders and we wish you and your family a happy, happy holidays! Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a, a happy, happy new year, BB Besties! Year, BB Besties. <laughs>